to Full Circle with Mukali. Happy new month. Happy Monday. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Of course, Shilingi Moja took Tongalesha for you to be a part of the conversation, for you to send in your questions, comments, words of encouragement. We are here for it. Find us on social media, Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Now, with infertility comes a lot of conversations, especially in our culture, in this our culture african continent you have to deal with this conversation emotionally financially economically it's heavy on you and also spiritually there's so many things that go around it so we're getting into this how do you go about having this conversation of infertility kindly let us run the bumper and i have two Women and studio who are going to be taking us through this conversation, Karibuni Sana. Asante Sana. Sana. And Lynette, we're going to start with you. Kindly introduce yourself to the people and let us know what it is that you do and this is your camera. Thank you. My name is Lynette Kageha. I'm a board director of Fertility Kenya, a registered non-governmental organization. From 2015, we have been assisting, facilitating and connecting women and men couples and families that are experiencing infertility in Kenya. Thank you. You that was very direct and I like the fact that it wasn't just women, it is women, men, couples, it's everybody. Yes. It is not a burden of one person. No. So thank you so much for that. Beatrice kindly introduce yourself. Okay, thank you. Mhm. Majina yangu naitwa Beatrice Wanjiku. Mhm. Nimekuwa ni extrago sana naishi da infertility. Mhm. But naona at a conversation yeah, Leo, we are majoring on there's hope mm. that not all is lost that you have to deal with all these things but giving up is the one thing we're not talking about today no we're talking about there's hope mm. and i'm happy that you're here today because your story is one of ku empower to kumpati am to hope na ile kukuonyesha ya kwamba Probably before we even get to you, uh, Lynette, imekuwa miaka ngapi ukijaribu kupata mtoto? Nime struggle for seven years. Nilikuwa nimeoleka, dwa ya kwanza iliisha na one year. Okay, because of... Yeah. Okay. Tukakaa mwaka moja, nika kosa kushika mimba, tukachana. Sae ingenye nilichukua ya pili, nimeka seven years. Nimejaribu kupigwa mara unatupwa mm. tena unarudi tukitatufuta tu hivyo kutafuta mtoto mm. alafu eventually sasa ulikuwa ulikuwa unafanya vitu gani ku pengine ulikuwa unaenda hospitali was the spouse willing to also go to the hospital yeah. with you eh nilienda hospitali mm -hmm. nikapata ni tubes me block okay okay Sasa before wanifanyie operation, kwanza nika atafuta hizi dawa za kienyeji kienyeji. Hizo mm -hmm. nimemeza mara mingi. Hizo za kienyeji mtu anazitoa wapi? <laughs> Huku tu. Huku <laughs> hapi. <laughs> Hii Kenya ni kubwa. Tunanga wa masai wa kitembea na zile. Yeah. By that time nikuwa nimechapo hata nikafukuzwa. Sasa mi kwenye nilienda, nilienda nika atafuta mtu. Nika mwambia mimi nimetoka kwa doa yangu, sababu ya hivi na hivi. Kaniambia hata nitafutia dawa. Nilimeza vibuyu tatu za 5 liters. Na nilikuwa nanunua moja 5k. Hai kufanya kazi, nikakaa, tena mzia kanirudisha, tukakaa tena, tukaendelea kuenda hospitali. Sasa ndo nikafanyiwa operation mm -hmm. ya kufungua tubes. Mm -hmm. Na zilifunguka ju nilipata mimba ikatoka na miezi mbili. After but so operation. at at this point uluko unajua ni naweza pata. E, mm -hmm. e. Mm -hmm. Sasa venye ilitoka, nikakaa tena, nikakaa, tukakosa tuka na tena, nikachapo tena, nikaenda. Nikakaa na huko nje akaona ni kweli hakuna venye hii shida sio mimi niko nayo peke yangu mm. ni watu wengi wako na hii shida mm. akanirudisha tena venye alinirudisha nikaenda hospitali tena wa kuna dawa wanaekanga tini ya kufresh tube mm -hmm. waka flash mm -hmm. ikafunguka nikapata ectopic mm -hmm. tena nikarudi hospitali ndio huyo mimi nikatolewa tena ile tube ikabaki moja mm -hmm. na hii moja imebaki ime block <laughs> Alafu. <laughs> imebaki moja na yes. ime block. Okay. Sasa alikuwa na dia advice ati tunaweza kwa kwa block. Mhm. Mm Ndaktari nikamwambia hapana. Wacha kwanza nikakae nifikirie mm. hii maneno venye itakuwa. 
Sasa hapo nilikuwa nafuata fuata mambo sana za online nikapata A e, Fertility Kenya. Mm. Nikaanza kusikiza madam anaitwa Cecilia. Mm -hmm. Nikaendelea kumsikiza sana sana sana. Mpaka nikafikiria sasa wacha nichukue namba yake. Okay. Ndio nilichukua namba yake tukaongea na yeye. Nikamwambia shida zenye nimekuwa ni go through. Akaniambia sasa tunaweza kutana na tuongee, tuone venye tunaweza saidia hapa. We. <laughs> so at, at this point mm. uh, lina furai venye umeingiza fertility Kenya kwa yeah. sababu now maybe Linet is is a story umezisikia mm. mara mingi sana they are very common yeah very common and it, it, society sometimes has a huge role to play because True. like she, the things that she had to go through yeah. it was always pointed at her and if you're not getting support from the people that you expect this support from then you end up taking five liters of god knows what <laughs> it's not satisfied <laughs> and she took three yes and there are those who take more than three she's lucky she only took three there are those who take year round every week you're buying five liter so we hear so many stories from women and these things are not certified are they no I don't think if there's any certification for meeting it our in Kenya. Mm. None. Okay. No. Okay. But we hear them a lot. These and stories are very common. What does uh, Fertility Kenya do? Thank you. Fertility Kenya assists women by connecting them or uh, advising them or even taking them physically. I get hold of your hand if you're not able to move around. I take you to a medical practitioner who is qualified. More so, a gynecologist. Okay. Those are the people who deal with women, fertility, and reproductive uh, systems of women. Mm -hmm. So we'll direct you to a doctor mm -hmm. closer to you, or if you're in Nairobi, we have a number of hospitals that we will direct you to. Mm -hmm. Visit the gynecologist, talk to him, let him understand and take your history. And then from there, you start medication. There are different types of medication. There are those who just come for, 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 for medication in such a way that they boost their fertility. There okay. are women and men whose fertility is very low. Mm. And just by boosting, they're able to conceive. Mm. But you see, some of these uh, concussions they take, uh, mm -hmm. we don't know. We, uh, you know, kabisa, kabisa. we don't know where I'm they come from. I'm assuming you're saying women because we are the ones who come out. Majority, <laughs> majority. But do do men come out as much as women? Do we see uh, Akina Beatrice Wakikuja and their spouses? Um, mostly it's just us women who. It is Has women? that changed? Not really. To a very small magnitude has it changed. Huh? Okay. Most couples, uh, the men follow when they see some hope. Oh, okay. Like you see. Beatrice, uh, her mm. case, uh, mm -hmm. when she was able to conceive for the first, first time, time after her tubes had been unblocked. Yes. You see now the husband was like, ah, kuna hope. ah, this woman can get me children. Mm. So that is the time he got interested in Beatrice. Okay. So most okay. of our men get interested when they see hope. But when they are not seeing hope, it's not easy for them to tag around with you. Okay. No. What uh, I think Beatrice, you hospital at that point. I love for the, the amount of money yenye ulikuwa skin at Akikana Uko. Ilikwani pesa yenye weme ungeweza ku afford when you ukiskia what waki yonge. Apana. Mm -hmm. Me wakati nilienda o si sasa daktali akanyambe ju e me block na ingina una mm. sasa utaenda straight IVF. Nili mumiza ni pesanga. Ulukuna jota IVF ni nini at that point? Amali have kukuelezea IVF ni? Hali nielezea. Ok. Jumia okay. sasipu anajua hiyo ni nina niambia. Mm. Sasa haka niambia hiyo itakuchukua miatano to 600k. Nika mwuduza sasa hiyo yote nitatoa wapi. <laughs> Fathali mi nika hivu. Mi nika rudi nyumbana nika ajana na hiyo story. Juhu sasa nilishindua hii hi nini half a million nitatoa wapi. Yeah. Haa mi nika ono wacha hiyo story ka hivu. Mi nilaks tu. Sasa venye nilikaa ndo nilikuwa nakwambia tukapatana mm. na Cecilia. Eh mm -hmm. sasa ndo alinishika mkono. Mm -hmm. Akaniambia tutajia zenye tunaweza pitia na akanipeleka hospitali. Akaongea na daktari, nikalipishwa half. Wow. Akaongea na hospitali, mi nilikuwa naona daktari free. Beatrice. Yes. Hiyo ndio kazi mnafanya. Ukisema kushika mkono inamaanisha hadi mm. financially mnasaidia. You know, there are times some of these hospitals offer free clinical 
services. Huh? Mm -hmm. For example, you see there are hospitals like uh, you you will hear we are doing free checkup in in in, in Gatundu mm. for three days for people with uh, ENT issues, and you go there, you'll be given spectacles for free. Yes. Your teeth will be cleaned for free, and your ears will be cleaned for free. So some of these hospitals give this window. So during that period, uh, patients who are lucky like Beatrice was lucky at that point. Mm. Yeah. There's a doctor who was doing it at Medihill, Dr. Kadwala. So she was lucky. That is the time the doctor was offering that discount. discount. Uh -huh. So that is how lucky Beatrice was. But you see, if she hadn't been a member of fertility, she would not have benefited from because it. probably this information said it's my patanga. No. Mm. 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 But then you are in a place of co yes. connectivity. Yes. Like what happens? Yes. What are some of the solutions? First, you need to get checked up. Yes. And it needs to be confirmed. You are a woman or a man who can bear children. There are people who congenitally, they cannot bear children. Okay. Because of maybe they don't have a uterus. Mm -hmm. They don't have the, 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 the eggs. There are some uh, men who have uh, who don't have even the, the, the their sperms don't have the the eggs. Eh? Mm -hmm. You know that is a congenital condition eh, that cannot be reversed. But there are alternatives of making a family. Mm -hmm. There are those who are treated eh, like Beatrice case. Eh, it mm -hmm. was just opening of the tubes, eh? so mm -hmm. she had to undergo a surgery, small surgery, just a minor surgery mm -hmm. to rectify her tubes. Eh? Yes. There are women who have fibroids. Eh? Mm -hmm. The fibroids can be removed or you can be put on treatment. Huh? Alternatively, you can be assisted to get pregnant. Uh, there, there are those who can't just get natural pregnancy. There are those who can get pregnant by assistance. They get your egg or they get the man's, uh, the, the man's sperm mm -hmm. and infuse in you without mm -hmm. going through the IVF. Huh? So such cases are the ones that we advise, but it is the doctor who will determine where do you lie. Okay. Not okay. us, because we are not medical professionals. That we are only true. there to assist women, men, mm -hmm. couples, and families that are going through by advising them and connecting them or even facilitating for them. Okay. So it is the doctor who determines which category are you in. There are those who just get, like I said uh, earlier, yeah. just the, the boost. They only need a boost. boost. Medication, two, mm. three months. And, and they're good to go. Good to go, and you're, you're expect, you, 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 you get, you conceive. Okay. There are those who have to go through the the operations, minor minor operations for yes. their tubes, uh, removal of the fibroids, mm -hmm. and those ones uh, are done by the doctor, it determines. The IVF comes in uh, when none of this can work, but you can still be able to get a child. There are men who do not have eggs, you get a donor. There are ladies who do not have eggs that can make a child, yes. you get a donor. Okay. And then there are those whose age, you know, mm. as we age, especially the women, eh, yes. after 30, our level of fertility drastically drops. Mm. So you need a donor, a younger girl or a donor who is going to give you an egg. Okay, okay, okay. That is when now you'll be done for IVF. IVF, okay. We are going to take a very short commercial break. Like into the original Lynette and Beatrice. If you have any questions whatsoever about infertility, we are there's hope and we're giving you solutions because Fertility Kenya is here with us today. And that is how Beatrice got her you know breakthrough. So triple one, triple four, triple one. If you have any questions whatsoever, we'll have them answer them for you. Switch TV K on Instagram, switch TV Kenya on Facebook. We'll be right back. Don't go too far. matters in fertility and that all hope is not lost because we have the fertility Kenya that has stepped in to just make sure that women men and couples have a way out of this hope they hold your hand and walk the journey with you we have uh, Beatrice who's walked this journey and she is a success story and we have uh, Lynette from uh, who's the board director at fertility Kenya so when we were going on a break I'm getting my own, <laughs> I'm having my own personal <laughs> sessions. Mm -hmm. And when you mentioned IVF, which is what uli learn, Cecilia uli mskia kutoka wapi? Ili mtuwa YouTube. Ili mtuwa YouTube. Mm. Uh -huh. 
sababu nilikuwa saa zingine sipati usingizi usiku mimi mm -hmm. kaka stress kaka kimishika mm -hmm. naingia youtube huko ndio nilimpata Cecilia ame go through IF IVF ama ni part of fertility Kenya She's mm. the chair lady. She's the chair lady? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. So you'd listen to her, listen to her, listen so to her. So when you story, you when you struggle to get a child, you can see when you look at her, you can see that she's a good idea, you can see that she's a good idea. So that's why you can see her. Okay. Yeah. So IVF has also um, some success stories and others not very successful. True. So that is very true. Yes. Mm. What, what are the... How are, what are the chances that this will work and this will not work? Is it something that is known or is it one of those things that you just walk in and hope that it will work? No, it is, uh, it is, it is something that you walk in with the hope, huh? okay. but majority are able to get success stories. Mm -hmm. And as I told you, yes. majorly it depends also on age. Okay. Age is a determining one determining factor. Mm -hmm. It also depends on the quality of uh, the eggs. Uh. Okay. But when you get into 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 hospital and mm -hmm. you get a doctor who is going to do it for you, very few people have had to go twice or second. It is not hundred percent guarantee okay. because you see this is artificially. Yes. It is not natural. You know, natural. You don't know how it swims and finds itself, and you just <laughs> wake up and you're pregnant. Yes. But for this, it is done um, professionally, with a lot of uh, with a lot of care, and uh, the person. There are those ladies who conceive, and then maybe they get a hiccup on the way, mm. and they lose the pregnancy. Okay. So it is not hundred percent success, okay. but it is. 45 to 70 percent success I mean, of we have, women. We have, uh, and we Beatrice, have Beatrice is a success yeah. story mm -hmm. because for her, she tried once and it worked for her. <laughs> Beatrice, how was that for you? I'm sh dunia ilikuwa inakuchapa. Sana. Uh, society pia inakuingililia. Nyumbani buwana pia likuwa. Mm. Sa zingine ako sawa, sa zingine ayuko sawa. Mm. How, how, when you got into IVF, mm. uniko misikia watu wengine wamefanya IVF na ikafanikiwa ama ikakosa kufanikika. Nili, kuna hao nilikuwa nimesikia imekuwa successful. Mm -hmm. Wengine ananiambia hata amefanya seven times. Amefanya 500,000 ngapi? <laughs> <laughs> Ni mingi. Ni mingi sana. Yeah. Yeah. Seven times? Yeah. Eight times? Mm. Three times? Mm -hmm. Lakini mi si kufika roo. Nisema tu ntafuata. Liwalo na liwe. Yes. Mi staki kujua na jua tu ni IVF. Mi hata yes. siku anajua ni mi naambiwa. Hata uh -huh. venye nilifika huko Unajaza form tu na ujui kenye una, unafanyua makinye hautafanyua. Uko tu na imani. Mi ni kona imani. Na hakuna siku hata moja hivi. Ni mea isema hati itafere. Mm -mm. Hata nikienda hizo treatment. Nilikuwa naenda asubui saa kumi na kalia motorbike. Naanza kulia. Naambia mungu naona kenye naenda kutafuta. Siendi kutafuta pesa. Naenda kutafuta mtoto. Na mungu sina jia ingine. Indio tu nafasi nimepata. Ya kupata u mtoto. Unepe. Na mungu ni muaminifu. Ni muaminifu. Kabisa. Um, Lynette, when we look at that situation, yes. amekuja nyumbani society, kama vinyo alikuwa nasema during break, yes. alikuwa na imba kwaya, but then she couldn't do it for long. Yeah. Uh, kwa sabu watu wana muita, majina, hivu tuka maizo. Mm. Do you also offer support when it comes to, you know, mental health, the emotional support that is needed, even as they walk this journey? Kwa sabu wata, kawaida ukipata mimba, unambio, ukipati ya stress. Because those kinds of stress pia zina, zina affect mtoto. Mm. Is there a support system of that sort for women who are in this journey? Yes, that oh, is and why. And men, my God, Mikali. And yeah, men. You should insist on <laughs> men. I should, I should, I should. Lifestyle and technology has really affected the, the number of men who are uh, getting into this, uh, this, uh, this uh, infertility is also rising steadily. Yes. We are seeing a rise in men who are unable to bear children naturally. And therefore, we should also emphasize mm. men especially the younger generation, so that they can know anytime they get married or anytime they marry and they're not seeing babies if they've had regular uh, uh, regular connection or intercourse for more than 12 months, uh, they should both visit a doctor. Yeah. You should not just kick and tell the wife, when do you gonna shit and no? Where and mm. no. Mm. They should both visit the doctor so that it is detected early. Who among the two or is it both of them who have the infertility issue. As you're saying before, it is very important to note that when you are our member, we get doctors 
psychologists, counselors ah. on board to just come and talk to these women. We also have groups, support groups among themselves. Mm -hmm. They form groups according to the area or the regions where they live in. Like the central, if you're living in Nairobi and you're coming from the eastern part of Nairobi, you're coming from the northern part of Nairobi, you form a small group of yourselves. Mm. You meet and encourage one another, yeah. talk about issues and just make every other person in that group feel comfortable and know that I'm not alone. You know, when you see others 15, 20 in a group 30 and you're like, ah, it's not my only issue. Yeah. It's an issue that is affecting many people. So we have that and I like that it's happening kwetu kwetu. Siati lazima tutoke, tunye tukapatane, sijiu wapi. So it also saves me on money, the travel and everything. Yes. To just know that even where I live, there are people who are walking this journey. Na si yuko peke angu. No. Umeweza kuenda kwa vikundi kama hivyo, uh, Beatrice? Mm. Mm -hmm. Tukona yomoja inajita Elohim Women Group. Mm -hmm. Na kuanga thika. Mm -hmm. Na tuko wengi, tuko watu 50. 50? <gasps> yes. Na ulikuwa unawajua before ama ni through uh -uh. fertility Kenya kwa kujua kapata kuna kikundi na hauko peke yako. Uh -uh. Sasa hiyo, hiyo nilipata na jengine ni wapata kwa TV flani. Okay. Wakapeana namba ni kachukua. <laughs> Kawapigia. Mm -hmm. Sato kwa tunakutananga na hauko thika. Yeah. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. It is very important even to see watu wakijifomia hizi groups. Kusa mm -hmm. wanajua the importance mm -hmm. of having this this meeting. Juu saa unajua mi na uyu ndo tunajua shida enye tunapitia. Nyukuli. Mi shida angu siyezi enda kuambia mtu wakona mtoto. Hata nisaidia. Yeah. Mi naambia mwenye hana mtoto. Mm -hmm. Juu enda anajua ile uchungu napitia. Sando to reform your group. Wanga tunakutana. Na hata kuna mengine hata walijiwa watatu. Via stress. Yani kukosa mtoto inakuanga ni stress ingine hata yelewe. Afadhali ukose mungu na ukue na mtoto. Wow. Afadhali ukose mkono na ukue na mtoto. Mm. Mm. Kukosa mtoto ni kitu ingini na kuwa stress sana. Kweli. Mm. Um, mtu watajiungaje na fertility Kenya because she became a member and she was able to know there's a discount somewhere that is happening. There's this facility that is available for me. For any woman out there or a man who's just tuning in right now and wondering how can I be a part of this? Uh, there are several ways. Mm -hmm. We are located in town center mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. Harambe Avenue, mm -hmm. Embassy House. Room uh, seven, room seven or three, seven nineteen. Mm -hmm. That is on third floor. Mm -hmm. Also, you can get us uh, through our contact lines. That is how Beatrice was able to pick uh, Cecilia's uh, office line, mm -hmm. and uh, our number is zero seven two two seventy seven forty three seventy one. Okay, okay, okay. You can also get us on Facebook. You can get us on Instagram, and you can get us on YouTube. Fertility Kenya. All right. Yes. We're going to re be repeating that before to Malize conversation, but Nikona Maswali. Yes. Uh, from our audience, please send in your questions, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. It's just going to cost you one shilling for you to just send in that question on Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. So, how, uh, hi Mukali, how long does IVF take to see results? How long does it take? Is there a stipulated timeline? There is no stipulated timeline. The only thing that you have to be very sh sure of, mm -hmm. you have to get through medication. There are, okay. those, there are those steps the doctor will give you mm -hmm. to go through. It takes about three months uh, before now the implant is done. Because the mm -hmm. embryo is done, is, 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 is facilitated outside, okay. and now it, is inserted, it will be inserted into your, 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 your uterus. Eh? Yes. It is done outside. So before the actual insertion of the embryo, into the woman's womb, there is that three months period where you have to work with the doctor for medication. Mm. There are some medications you have to go through just to prepare you. So that's about three months yes. before the IVF is done, like the the, the, the implantation of the in, embryo yes, is done in your uterus. Yes. And after that, how long did it take for you to now check? And ima I'm imagining even the anxiety mm. of waiting to just see if my period is here, is it coming, is it gone? How long did it take for you, Beatrice? Two weeks. Two weeks? Mm. Wow. Unaka, after kufanywa transfer, mm -hmm. unaka two weeks, wanaenda kuangalia. Okay, mm. okay. And this is not standard. It takes different times for different people? Mostly two weeks is the standard mm. so that they can know the embryo has in the Im mm. has implanted itself yes. into mm. the womb. Yeah. So from the time the implant is done, it is two weeks. Mm. It is a review mm. of the 
the process. Mm -hmm. okay. So it is two weeks from the date if the implant is done, okay. you'll be able to know whether the implant is successful or not successful. Yeah. Okay. The three months is the period that you have to go through treatment, that you have to go to cleansing, that you have to go to for preparation. Yes. But after the implant, two weeks down the line, you go back for evaluation. Evaluation, mm -hmm. they check and confirm. Has it implanted yourself? Okay. Yes. Okay. Higher. Can I choose the sex of my baby with this method of conception? True. Mm. Is it? No. Mm. Is it possible? Mm. It is possible. Oh, Be okay. <laughs> because, uh, you see, the preparation of the embryo, yes. it is the doctors who do it. Eh? So there is that. <laughs> this is me looking very dumb on TV. No. But, uh, it's okay. It is, it is possible. Us. It is yes. possible, but it is not 100% guaranteed. Eh? Okay. But you can talk to the doctor and they try to see the X and Y chromosomes. If yes. they can get I, whatever you really need. Eh? But don't be 100% that I'm going to get a baby boy or I'm going to get a baby girl because that is what I need. Even the number of children. There are those who come with the, the notion, twins. I want twins. Yes. For some people it works. Okay. Others it doesn't work. Oh, okay. So it is not 100% okay. if you go to the doctor when the process is being done, when the embryo is being implanted because they do about uh, a number of uh, eggs that are done. Eh? Mm -hmm. So it is not guaranteed you're going to have twins. Yeah. That is your wish. That okay. is your prayer and desire. Okay. But it is not 100% guaranteed. I'm going to have the boys I wanted. I want to, I'm going to have the girls. I want one boy and one girl. I want two boys and one girl. No, it is not guaranteed, but it is possible. Okay, great. Yes. Patrice, did you get to choose? Did you have a preference? No. You were just like, I want uh, this hour. Okay, okay, mm. okay, okay. Uh, that is news to me uh, for educating us. Asante sana. Uh, do I need to prepare my body for this process in any way? And we've seen, and I think you mentioned that a bit, maybe you can get into details of what you had to do during the three months. I'm a before it is or three months. We've seen uh, women who take some medications. If I know, imwaka nataka kuconceive. Una change mwili, una kula, una cleanse mwili yako, Una take some supplements just to prepare your body for that. Was it something that you had to do before? Even the three months is a IVF ikitari shwa. Haizo ndakta nja na kuambianga Kenya utakula na Kenya utakula. Ah, okay. Kama, kama aje. Uwezi kura red meat. Red meat? Nyama ya ngombe mbuzi tuwache kabisa. Yes, okay. Aha. Gano unapunguza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na kuna greens, nduma, ngwashe. The healthy, the healthy kind. Yeah. Which should be our everyday. Yeah. Ni ujesiti tunaribu tu kila yeah. siku tunakula vitu tu unnecessary. Mm. <laughs> Hata before mfike hapo, kuna mm -hmm. supplement bado utakua unapewa za kuongeza mwili nguvu. Okay. Eh. So haezi ya rakishi hati ya naenda kukuekea tu na hata hata haja nini. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Kuna event inafanyika. Yes. Pengini mm. uneza tuelezea about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are very excited for the event that is happening mm -hmm. and it is not only in Kenya. Okay. This is uh, an event and a function that is being uh, uh, marked worldwide. Okay. World Fertility Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. It often runs on the 2nd of November of every year. Mm -hmm. But in Kenya, this is the first time mm -hmm. Fertility Kenya is facilitating for this function. Therefore, we'll be having it from tomorrow. We are having it tomorrow. We are so excited about it. Okay. Tomorrow we are having all the time to run about and we are having a procession from Embassy House mm -hmm. all the way up to Ser Serena Hotel. Mm -hmm. It is in Serena Hotel that the function is going to be held. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we invite all the members of the public. We want to make people understand and mm -hmm. know that indeed infertility is not a condemnation. Yes. It is not. It is reversible. We have success stories and we still have avenues of getting children absolutely for those who have issues and questions please march with us from embassy house tomorrow from 9 a.m up to serena hotel mm -hmm. when the whole function is going to be crest great we are expecting a number of people members of parliament senators we are expecting governors the who's who so it's a conversation that's happening over here to everybody else to everybody mm -hmm. else so we are here for it social media to tafte fertility kenya fertility kenya okay on instagram mm -hmm. fertility kenya on youtube okay and as i told you physically come to embassy house third floor room 719 fertility kenya you'll find us there okay and, uh, and uh, our phone number for the office is 0722 77 43 
71. Asante sana. Thank you. Beatrice, thank you so much for giving mm. us hope this morning mm. and for Selene Kenya for providing that space mm. for people to be safe and walking this journey with them. Thank you. Super grateful for even educating us, me especially. We're going to take a very quick commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.